So it's a straight shootout for the final. That's what we're going to see. There's nowhere, Jim, you would rather be. A game, some may argue, with justification as being harder than the final itself, Peter. I can certainly attest to that from my own experience. While you do everything to tell yourself you shouldn't get too ahead of things, it's actually harder than it seems. But it's looking like a terrific occasion here. Let's just hope we have a game to match all of this wonderful expectation. Well, we're on the way. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? I would go for Sofiane Figuli. Um, when he injects a bit more aggression and or determination into his game, his performance level hits an impressive high. He becomes a, a more prolific supplier and, and a greater goal threat too. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Gets it back. Bentaleb. He spotted the run and played him through. Good clearance and very necessary. Well, that's where he wants it. Cuts it out. And it's Bentaleb. And here's Slimani. Oh, he's in! Has a pop! And he's done it! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal, too, is a bonus. But this game has already taken on a real attacking edge, and, and long may that continue. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers, too. It was all very well drilled. Algeria take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. Forward it goes. And that is as far as they're going to go. It's being played forward. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but we'll have to go again. Shapes to shoot! There's a goal! Well, that's something that will make the manager proud, because they dug in deep then, and they've got their level up. One sweeping move, executed with deadly efficiency. Look, if you want to be effective on the break, then the key element is always pace. That's what really rips the fences apart, and it's difficult to find an answer to it when it's applied like that. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. But Gulli gets into a good position. Knocks it away. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Tries to get it forward quickly. And here's Faguli. Mares. And Mares! Mares usually is so good from that range, he didn't quite connect as he can, though. Mares. And now they can launch a counter. And here's Slimani. Right through the mid. And the shot! Managed to get it away. A 
And they're not going to make any further progress now. And it's got through. That's it! Good delivery, no joy. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases the chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Timely intervention. The goalie really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. really quick to react to the initial save and he has his reward well for me that's just pure predatory brilliance it's not so much the finish but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it it's fantastic Well, this is what we've been waiting for. And it's played forward. Good idea, just poorly executed. Bentaleb. Now it's for Gouli. Bentaleb. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's for Gouli. Strong punch. <laughs> Plays it out to the wing. And now the breakaway. <laughs> half time in the semi final. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it's still anyone's game, as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive... Um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Algeria leading by one in a finally... Has a hit! And that would have been some goal. He was set on rounding it off in fitting style, but he couldn't make it fit. Keeper has beaten it away. Brings it forward. Slimani. Now it's Mares. Over to the left. He's got away. Flings it across. And he couldn't get hold of it. Well, his reaction to that was ultra sharp, Peter. His anticipation is in fine working order. Hoists it forward. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. And needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Looks to clip it forward. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. It's anyone's ball. And he's cut it out. And he's there to clear it. And here's Mares. 
Mares gets flagged offside. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Gets it upfield. Out to the right. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's played forward. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Goulam. Mares. Cross deflected behind for a corner. But there's going to be another change here. Great leap! They scored! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. <laughs> Algeria take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. That has the feeling of a breath of fresh air, Peter, and now they can fill their lungs and, and just blow them away. And it's Bentaleb. Plays it out to the flank. Back into the middle. Rahimi. Shot at goal! Forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. And there's a long ball. He's had a shot! Yes! Just one goal in it now! Game on! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Brahimi. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Good reason for optimism here. Fozi Gulam. There's the delivery. Gets up to head it! No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Delivers the ball. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. Goes for goal! 
Oh, good delivery, almost the perfect outcome. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Looking to hit the front line. And that's that. Algeria have sealed their place in the final and their loyal support is in ecstasy. They head to the big day, genuinely expecting to win it. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, they've grown in stature and confidence with every step and one big step away.